at nine. Ladies and gentlemen, the investigation into Sushant Singh Rajput's death has completely turned on its head. The Bihar police has now booked his close friend, actor Riya Chakravarti, on charges of abetment to suicide, theft, cheating and wrongful confinement. Now, this has been done on the basis of a complaint filed by Sushant Singh Rajput's family and the family has made some absolutely stunning charges. Charges that definitely merit a thorough investigation and raise several questions as to why this seems to have skipped the Mumbai police's eye and attention. On the case tonight, let me take you through what the family has said and I hold in my hand this charge sheet, six-page charge sheet which questions how the case has been investigated so far. In fact, the charge, this complaint also said Rhea and her family's entire motive of getting close to Sushant was only to grab his money and all their actions were part of a conspiracy to steal his wealth. The most pointed allegation leveled by the family is practically of murder, claiming that it was Rhea who gave Sushant an overdose of medicines. Remember, he was on antidepressants. They also claim that Rhea Chakrabarti restricted Sushant's contact with his own family, his father, his sisters. <coughs> it also says uh, that uh, Rhea Chakravarti deactivated Sushant Singh Rajput's SIM card and kept a tab on his phone, giving him a number that belonged to somebody who was Rhea's uh, close uh, friend or uh, a uh, close uh, known associate. Another thing that the family has charged now is uh, flagged by the police is that Rhea was in possession of Sushant Singh's debit and credit cards and a sensational charge by Sushant Singh's father, a point which would be the centre of the police probe. <coughs> Rupees 15 crores have been withdrawn in the last one year from Sushant Singh Rajput's account within within a year and allegedly all this money was transferred to accounts unrelated to Sushant Singh Rajput. One more charge that has been corroborated to Times Now even by sources in the police is that Rhea sacked some of Sushant's employees. Allegedly his bodyguard and employed a close helper uh, who was known to Rhea Chakravarti in Sushant Singh's house. Sushant Singh uh, Rajput's uh, kin also say that Rhea blackmailed him and threatened to declare him mad and leak the treatment papers to the media and tried to stop the family from meeting or interacting with Sushant. Lastly, they also say that once everything was done and dusted, the money was siphoned out, Rhea took his valuable positions, his laptop, his medical reports and his money and then left Sushant completely alone in a depressed state of mind. Now, ladies and gentlemen, considering the extremely specific and verifiable charges levered by the family, the focus now turns on the effectiveness on the Mumbai police. <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, 43 days after this investigation has been going on by the Mumbai police, did they not even contact the family for their side of the story? And therefore, the legitimate question on the news are tonight. Has Mumbai police botched up the Sushant probe? That's the question and the debate. Sushant Rhea twist. The debate on the other side. You're watching the news hour at night. Debate number one on Times Now. Super prime time. And joining me tonight on the standpoint is Ishkaran Bhandari, the lawyer uh, who's been following this entire case. Also joining me tonight is Akash Deep Sabir, film director uh, on, on the standpoint. And Ishkaran Bhandari, I want to come across to you first because this six-page complaint filed by Sushant Singh Rajput's father. You know, this details the trauma that Sushant Singh Rajput was going through and the family probably would have first-hand knowledge of this. The father not only questions Rhea Chakravarti's involvement with Sushant Singh Rajput, the fact that she had confined him, she had taken away his phone, she was, uh, uh, 
she took him away from his rented house and made him live in some hotel near the airport where she and her family kept saying that he was mad he was depressed he was uh, delusional all of these statements are made uh, in the in the complaint that has been filed by the father and he also said that when his depression was being cured why did the doctors not take the permission of the family because they were the family and if somebody is mentally disturbed then the permission has to come from the family and he's also pointed out to 15 crore rupees vanishing from his accounts i want to ask you ishkaran bhandari these are sensational charges made by the family in 43 days of investigation has the mumbai police not gone into any of these details have they not even contacted the family for what they knew about sushant singh rajput do you think this entire detailing and an investigation is just some sort of a parade which is a senseless parade of bollywood biggies which gives the mumbai police a sense of power rather than getting to the bottom of his suicide navika ji when did in this case an investigation happen I do not think that investigation even started in this case. Day one, ten minutes, fifteen minutes into the mysterious death, and I have been calling it mysterious death from July first. We heard suicide happened because he had mental health problems. That is not the ordinary course. You find an unnatural death, you investigate it. After you investigate it, you come to a conclusion: is it tragedy? Is it abetment to suicide, or is it murder? but we did not have that but the mumbai police wanted to do nothing with this case except the people of india the lakhs and crores of people of india who kept tagging me and i used to go on youtube live kept asking me please examine the case you are a lawyer please help us people were reaching out to i think millions of people for help because they thought this is wrong and i remember you being kind enough to carry one letter i wrote to the mumbai commissioner on 15th of july you carried it live on your channel saying that have you even sealed the flat have you done that within the minute you reached there did you seal the flat you carried it live and the public should know that you carried it live because they were asking these questions and once i started examining this case i found so many loopholes in this so many loopholes in this loophole number 1 just give me 10 15 seconds extra loophole number 1 you did not seize the electronic evidence did you seize it did you seal the flat did you do forensics within 5 minutes 10 minutes of reaching there how did this version come out we all know it is generally called alleged suicide we call it mysterious death since when did we start calling and coming to a conclusion that it is a suicide on day 1 and did they not have these bank entries of 15 crores going that's not an ordinary sum of money going they had on record statements including from shekhar suman saying that he had 50 sim cards they did not feel that's worthy of investigation they did not feel that's worthy of an fir they proceed under crpc 174 how did all this happen only reason we have reached this stage is the people of india who refused to give up who kept raising their voices people like you who showed a letter to mumbai police on your channel and today we have a formal fir there might be many other developments as we go ahead but today is a day people can feel at least now it is a bona fide criminal investigation which but should have been done on june 14 ishkaran bhandari i also want to ask you who do you think the mumbai police is covering up for navika ji from day one i have been saying that whom they are covering for is obviously very influential people but that is stage 2 first stage is do you investigate the matter or not do you are in your decades of experience have you seen a person healthy young individual found dead and in 10 minutes it called suicide in a high profile case i doubt you would have seen that this is shocking so we need to have investigation first then we say whom were they favoring that is why i wrote a letter yesterday saying please collect the tower data tower data will show who was partying with him who was in the vicinity of the house in the last 3 4 days who did the first message go to in the morning of 14 whom did the first call go to in the morning of 14 what was the chain of messages and calls on 14th of june why has that all not come on record this is shocking 
And as I said, we now have a criminal FIR, which is very different from CRPC 174 that they were doing. And it looks now two different state polices are doing it. It has to go to CBI. A central agency has to step into this. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, if if there is an unbiased investigation that needs to go on, it needs uh, needs to be investigated in that manner. But let me ask you, Akash Deep Sabir. The charges that have been made by the father of Sushant Singh Rajput are very, very, very important charges that have been made. And these charges point to some knowledge the family needs to have. I want to ask you, is this investigation by the Mumbai police completely doomed from first day itself because they haven't even taken the facts from the family? Sushant Singh Rajput was not married. He was a single man living in Mumbai. The first point of contact should have been the family. The fact that the family has had to go to Bihar police to file this complaint clearly shows that there has been no investigation. And now that Riya Chakrabarti's name comes up, shouldn't, shouldn't this have been a, a point of investigation on day one by the Mumbai police? Navika, I think one of the first people interviewed in this uh, and interrogated in this was Ria. I think uh, uh, first day uh, the suicide theory came out and then when, uh, as Ishkaran has rightly said, the fans, the media all put the pressure and interrogation started, Ria was confronted. We are hearing that Ria at that time did not mention all these financial details and the investments in her and her brother's companies and stuff like that. But again, we are hearing the police has not come out with any statement. As regards their father's FIR today, when the father of the deceased files an FIR, it has to be taken with utmost seriousness. But uh, when you talk about uh, Sushant having paid up her bills here and there, I would still think that with, with the husband, wife or with a living relationship, uh, the boy is doing very well. Uh, if he picks up the tab or whatever, that, that, that is something that again needs probe and I'm not a legal person to answer. But I would rather focus on two very important things. Why has all this not been told to the police when Ria was interviewed? If the police say that she did not mention all this earlier, things like taking away his laptop and his records and things like that. And secondly, this 50 SIM card usage that I heard from Shekhar, Kangana, and now I'm hearing it in so many debates. Everybody is saying that it's hearsay, but it's too strong a statement and it will open a Pandora's box if it is true. I think if the police wants us to wait for 90 days to come up with their conclusive charge sheet, which may, we may or we may not accept and move towards uh, CBI. And now with two different police uh, uh, states uh, interrogating in two different directions, it seems to be a case for CBI. And please let it go that way. I am saying uh, I can't really comment whether the police have taken all this into consideration. I would request the police to at least come out and tell us whether 50 SIM cards were used or not, because that will put a lot of our, our uh, loose thinking to rest. If 50 SIM cards have been procured in a month by the same user, this Akash is Deep, not a simple vital facts, case. vital facts of investigation may have been lost in the first 43 days if they haven't been caught. You know, to just say that, oh, why the police is not answering, you know, is it because Sushant Singh Rajput was not part of a club? Is that why these questions are being asked now? Absolutely not, ma'am. There is no club that is so strong in Bollywood. I maintain that from day one of this controversy. I've had a father who's made 52 films, spent 65 years in this line. I have spent over three decades. I know this line obviously, inside out. I may not be a current Obviously, when you have but, a family, but, when you have a family in filmdom, how will you recognize the problems of somebody no, like no, a no, 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 like no, no, a, no, no, a Patna no, 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 boy, Navika, Sushant Navika, Singh Rajput, Navika, who was stranded Navika, in Mumbai, a Navika, small town Navika. guy who, uh, if if his father's complaint is to be believed, could not see through Ria. Chakrabarti, Navika, who he, who Navika, he uh, probably was in love with, she was taking Navika, away his money and there was nobody to protect him. Even after his Navika, death, nobody wanted Navika, to find out these details, sir. Navika, if she says, don't discuss your depression with your parents or X, Y, Z, I think Sushant was a highly intelligent person and is not just going to dumb follow any such you advice. Know, 
Now well, these are well, things that you well, are passing let judgment me, let on me, without knowing. Let me just knowing. cut across. I'll, I'll come back to you, Mr. Akashti. But let me just cut across to Union Minister Babul Supriyo, who's joining us uh, on on the news hour tonight. And Babul Supriyo, well, before you were a minister, you had another life, and you were, uh, you know, part of Bollywood, and you know, you know how Bollywood really works. Today, the father of Sushant Singh Rajput has come out, filed a complaint with the Bihar Police, and. And the details that he said are stunning charges. Charges that talk about 15 crores going away from the bank account of Sushant Singh Rajput and going across to bank account numbers that are not related with Sushant Singh Rajput. The fact that he was kept confined, his phone numbers were changed and he was being controlled by Riya Chakrabarti. I want to ask you, uh, Babul Supriyo, all this... All this is being said by the father who was in touch and, and his sister who was in town just a few days before he breathed his last. Babul Supriyo, all this was not confirmed or investigated by the investigators in Mumbai. Now the Bihar police comes out and files an FIR. Are we, are we ever going to see the real investigation taking place in this case? Well, you see, Navika, uh, I've been hearing Akash Steepji as well. I know him for a very long time. He knows very well that, uh, you know, uh, camps and clouds and uh, all of that exists in Bollywood. I don't know why he chooses to uh, refute that on camera. It does exist and in how. But the question is, do we need to connect this with nepotism inside or outside a debate? No. By doing that, we are diluting the case. I think if in, if in, if in, all other businesses, there is nepotism with the rich father's son, a successful businessman's son can directly sit in the CEO's chair. I think in filmdom, people who are star sons, they get a second chance, you know, uh, you wouldn't have a, a director or producer come on television and say that I saw this coming or this particular person who resembled Parvin Bhavi and all that with due respect to Parvin Bhavi and all of that. They, if, if that person was not an outsider, uh, then he would have probably been his father would have been called or there would have been 100 people coming to help that out because he's an insider. So let's not get dilute the entire thing by that debate. What I want to say is that, you know, what happened with Sushant Singh Rajput is a, is a question of the emotion of the entire country, how the country has been hurt, how it has deeply hurt and, you know, discouraged, disillusioned youngsters who want to come to Bombay with their dreams, wanting these these producers. It is not going to, they are not going to change overnight, right? And calling all of them, putting generalizing them as one who are cruel, who do not give uh, chances to outsiders is not what it is all about. Those are different stories can be debated separately. I think the biggest, bigger question is the fact that uh, people do not seem to be happy with the with this parade that is happening in the Mumbai police station. Yes, people need to needs to be called and questioned, but some very important elements uh, are there which are missing, which now have been highlighted by the FIR filed by uh, Sushant Singh Rajput's father. And I think with Riya Chakravarti herself saying, uh, uh, calling for a CBI probe, with the FIR, uh, you know, naming her as, uh, as someone who may have, uh, you know, uh, caused uh, uh, the, the thing of abatement to suicide and all of that, the investigation must be moved out of Bombay. I genuinely feel uh, it may, you know, as a union minister, can I say that, you know, Mumbai police is incompetent and therefore it should be moved. I think for the emotion of the country, for what is being said, we have had Subramanian Swami writing to uh, Honorable Prime Minister. We have several other people writing. So if there is no hanky-panky, I don't think that there is any harm in uh, you know, you're but Babul Supriyo, Babul Supriyo I want to ask you one simple question. If Sushant Singh Rajput was not a small town boy lost in Mumbai, would his father still be waiting for an FIR to be lodged 43 days after his son passed away? Would, would police not have contacted him on day one if he was the son of some known Bollywood name? Well, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying, that there are several questions which, which are a little puzzling. Uh, you, you could always say that, as I heard his, uh, you know, I think brother-in-law speaking in one of the interviews a couple of days back, that the family was in intense uh, trauma and therefore whether, you know, he could have traveled from Patna to Mumbai or whether the Mumbai police could have gone to Patna to take his statement or anything, any gray areas, any, any suspicious that could have, that have were, you know, inside his mind. Could they have done that? Well, I will leave that question, uh, you know, the way it has it is floating everywhere. I think the right thing to do at this point of time is probably if Mumbai police feels that 
people are questioning their integrity. I think uh, it is the state government who decides whether a uh, particular investigation needs to be handed over to the CBI. I think the police so should the follow that. So the voice of rule India, book, the voice of India that you were talking about, you know, everybody coming out and demanding a fair probe, that's not important. Only it's the Mumbai important. police will be a judge in its own case, whether it's a fair investigation or not. No, no, I'm not. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, Navika, it is the, let's go. You know, I can get carried away with the emotions. I am equally sad when I was watching Bill Bichara uh, two days back. So let's, I am a small town boy as well. I'm an outsider in Bollywood as well. But did outside, that's a different debate. I don't want to dilute this entire conversation with the insider, outsider, nepotism debate. Enough is, enough of noise is being created. People are diluting the case. What I'm saying is that the rule says that if a crime, uh, uh, if a supposedly uh, a criminal activity has happened in a state, the police investigates that first. If, you are, if, they, if they think that it, they cannot do it, it, they are the ones, the state government decides whether it can go to the CBI or a court gives an order for a CBI probe. So the, let's talk the legal options. So the family of Sushant Singh Rajput can approach a court and ask for a CBI uh, probe because they have lost, as his father has clearly said, he does not believe and uh, trust the Mumbai police probe. There are several uh, celebrity names that have come up who could have, you know, kind of suppressed a lot of facts. Let's not do a trial by the media. I genuinely feel that these are very pertinent questions and Mumbai police, I think if they feel that these are questions being raised uh, all over India, it is a lot of sentiment. It's about the youngsters who want to come to uh, this, you know, dream, dream, fair dream point, city by the Fair RBC. point, so Union Minister roots for a CBI probe and I think that's yeah, the voice so of India yeah. that we are getting. Uh, thank you very much, Babul Supriyo, for joining me on the news hour tonight and I'm opening up this uh, issue to debate tonight and uh, joining me this evening Abha Singh lawyer Nasir Abdullah actor Dr. Anand Ranganathan Harry Sikka author of uh, Calling Sehmat uh, the film uh, Razi was based on it Ashish Dikshit lawyer Sanjana actress and of course Akashdeep uh, Sabir with us I want to first get in Nasir Abdullah Nasir Abdullah in a normal unnatural death would the Mumbai police have jumped to a conclusion that, oh, it's a suicide and now let's have a parade of who's who of Bollywood, call Mahesh Bhatt one day, call, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Ch uh, Yash Chopra's son one day, Karan Johar one day. You know, it, does this, is this the way investigations really work? Because they haven't even contacted the father so far. Yeah, I'm not an expert on the police uh, ways of dealing with stuff, and I agree with uh, some of your things. But uh, here is the deal. Sushant's father has now made a very serious uh, complaint about information about his girlfriend who had been playing with this guy's life, who's no baby himself. He's not an immature little, like a baby doll, but why didn't my my question is why was this information not given out earlier maybe they found out recently that she had been embezzling the money etc and etc and blackmailing him about his mental depression etc etc maybe playing some other game so the bombay police somewhere mumbai police gets exonerated they are a little bit more out in the clear because this thing about Bollywood mafia and the Karan Johors and all these big family people out to destroy this young man for no, no apparent reason. He is the goose that lays the golden eggs. Why would anybody want to kill the goose that lays the golden eggs? Unless he was weird or he was aggressive or he had links. So I am in a way happy to know that there is another inkling about what actually happened and what might have driven what might have driven him to commit suicide if it was a suicide i'm happy to admit if they can prove it that it was a murder there was some foul play but it seems from what the family is saying that there is this huge serious element of his girlfriend with whom he had a living relationship which is fine by me you know the living but that she had been playing games with him and has taken away a lot of his money and it's gone into unknown accounts. What's going on? And the whole family is with him and now the Bihar police are here to make sure that the Bombay police takes the cognizance of this fact 
and make sure they don't go in the wrong direction and get Sanjay Leela Bansali and Karan Johar and Mahesh Bhai, what is going on? You know, they don't have anything to do with his death. That's what I feel. And they're even showing a video which has gone viral about some police officer saying uh, if they find out the investigation, and it's all spurious, and I just recently saw it and I got affected by it, but now I think it could be fake. Well, so Nasir Abdullah, stay on. with me. We have some breaking news coming in. Questions are now being raised over Mumbai Police's probe. A video has surfaced of a voice which was heard on tape while Sushant's forensic tests were going on, saying, hope this video is not leaked. Our investigation will be ruined. Listen into this telltale tape. We are getting this tape from our sources and this tape is already talking about the leakage of the tape and the investigations. Listen in. Well, the complaint of the father and this video, two evidences that surface today and here on the news are uh, Siddhant Mishra joining me live on this uh, big news break and Siddhant, this tape in itself is enough to question the Mumbai police probe because here you can actually hear the policeman saying that I hope this tape is not leaked because it will ruin our investigation. Who's saying this to whom? Has this tape been forensically examined? Is this a voiceover? Is this been, uh, uh, you know, dabbled with, dealt with by somebody else? Or is this the original voice of those who had been on the spot to investigate uh, Sushant Singh Rajput's uh, alleged suicide? And were they planting something there? Well, see, uh, Navika, it would be uh, really early to uh, jump to any kind of conclusion, but the fact remains, Navika, that uh, on the day Sushant died, there were several photographs leaked, there were several videos inside Sushant's flat and the cri at the crime scene, not the, exactly the crime scene where he committed to, uh, allegedly committed suicide. All those videos got leaked and, uh, you know, uh, 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 a day later, Maharashtra police comes out with a statement saying all those who are circulating those photographs, uh, Maharashtra police is going to take legal action against them but when we asked Maharashtra police then what about the leaks happened who has done that leaks and why the leaks were uh, done to some close people uh, of Mumbai police they did not have any answer to it the same way Navika these videos were uh, they, these videos got leaked and these videos tell a lot of stories that how the investigation is surely not going on a, in a right direction and Mumbai police and Maharashtra police is just trying uh, trying to keep the pot boiling just want to uh, you know, just want to uh, be in an authoritative uh, situation so that they can summon whichever star they want. They can summon uh, anyone to the police station, record their statement. Uh, and, you know, uh, this is how the uh, the things are going on from last almost 40, 43 days. Because if a Bihar police can go and record a statement of, uh, of Sushant Singh's father, why if Mumbai police did not record this statement in Mumbai? You know, Navika, all other family members, all the family members of Sushant uh, were questioned by Mumbai police. But none of them, none of them told same thing uh, to Mumbai police what they told to Bihar police. Is it a lack of confidence or, a, a, or a, is it that Mumbai police did not ask questions to them uh, properly? They were in too hurry. So all these questions definitely goes out to Mumbai police, Navika. And not just that, you know, the way investigation is happening. Uh, when uh, pressure mounts on Mumbai police through social media or for that matter celebrity like Kangana Ranaut or advocate like Ishkaran Bhandari start speaking about then they decide to call uh, that particular person for an, uh, for, an, uh, for questioning for an investigation this also we have seen you take a case with kangna you take a, uh, you take a case with mahesh bhat initially they did not call Absolutely. when mumbai police is knew mumbai that mahesh bhat is at this point doing a power play on uh, calling and summoning uh, 
people from Bollywood or is it doing an investigation? Tonight, Times Now's Newsbreak has changed the complete narrative on the Sushant Singh Rajput story. While other channels have been reporting on rumors, it's your channel, Times Now. Early this evening, which was the first to reveal the FIR, the complaint of Sushant Singh Rajput's father, which nailed and in fact blamed girlfriend Rhea Chakrabarti, accusing her of abetment to suicide. Sensational details of this uh, really emerge here on the news hour and tonight, once again, once again, the tape that has surfaced. And let me get in Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Dr. Anand Ranganathan, this tape now busts the entire myth of the investigation that was going on so far. This tape says, ye leak na ho jai. Agar ye leak ho gai, hamari investigation ruin ho jayegi. What was this investigation? Where, where was the statement of the father? The father has given this complaint to the Bihar police. Why did the Mumbai police not get these facts, especially the bank account details that have been listed and the fact that phone, phone calls that were not being made through Sushant Singh Rajput's number but through another number. Great details have been pointed out in this complaint. Yeah, good evening, Navika. Uh, you know, I have two points to make. I think number one deals with what you've just said. And these are by all accounts really shocking revelations, especially as they come after more than 40 days uh, of the passing away of Shushant. So the first point very quickly deals and both points will be dealing with only facts. The first one deals with what you've just said on the investigation. And I've been hearing what uh, my good friend uh, um, Ishkaran has pointed out and what seems to be glaring lacunae in the police investigation. I won't go as far as to call it so far as to call it a botched up investigation because maybe all investigations are conducted in this fashion. Uh, so it is actually shocking that right from day one, so many lapses have been tabulated. It's almost like they're tabulating, you know, lapses, uh, the police are. Point number two, which is also very important, uh, is Navika that in the absence of a suicide note, I think abetment to suicide is a notoriously different allegation to prove. We've already seen in another high profile case in the Sun Sunanda Pushkar suicide case, how it has taken six years, more than six years, and still the police are nowhere near to solving the case. And I think a uh, reason for that is that the, uh, the section oh, IPC 306, 305, 306 is, uh, uh, you know, notoriously sparsely worded, very sparing. So it is very difficult to prove uh, what was the trigger that caused the suicide. And in fact, if you look at the Supreme Court judgment of January 2020, it states that uh, proving the abetment to suicide doesn't automatically lead to conviction. So I think there are two points here and both deal with facts. One is at once the police must show more alacrity, if not the complete transfer of this case to another authority. And what? number two what? is this abetment to suicide, which I said is notoriously, diffi notoriously difficult to prove. Well, Sanjana, Sanjana, I want to ask you. 43 days and we are nowhere close to the truth in this investigation and this leaked video holds the key that somebody clearly seems to be allegedly manipulating this investigation. Who could it be? And isn't the answer going to be revealed from the charges made by the father where there is funds involved, funds to the tune of 15 crore and a mental disorder where, where Sushant Singh Rajput seems to have complained to his uh, own uh, father that mujhe pagal karar dene wale hain ye lo. Very important and connected issues. I think uh, 15 crore is not a sum of pound which is really a very big amount when it comes to somebody like a Sushant Singh Rajput to be not tapped for or to be tapped for or to be extracted by or you know, when it comes to money, money extortion I think. Uh, that this girl would have done anything of this sort just to get a 15 more rupees from him because Sushant belongs to the 100 store club when it comes to the movie. He's a big star and she would have seen a great future with him. But in India, it has hai. history is this witness that if your husband is dead or if your boyfriend has got COVID death with whomever you have a living relationship with, 
स्ट्रेट फिंगर्स आर पॉइंटेड अपॉन द वुमेन होम ही वॉज लिविंग विथ से ये ऐसी थी ये वैसी थी शी डिड दिस शी डिड दैट उसने ये पैसे ले लिए उसके बाप के लिए उसने ये किया उसकी माँ के लिए इसने वो किया एंड टू जस्ट पुट द वुमेन डाउन because men are so dominant in this entire society so i don't think you can blame riya chakkar so but even if he has picked up the tab and if he has paid the bills if he has transferred some money to some mother's account or father's account or his own girlfriend's account himself come on he is an adult oh, you he's think, educated guy you think this is a he's gender adult, issue adult. you think this is a gender issue the facts of the case say nothing you know the police video which is leaked that says nothing the fact that I the father is giving details means nothing Africa. well let me get let me get the people people who are watching this show let me get in their views manik das uh, calling me from mumbai kunal kapoor from singapore kunal What do you think? Is this a gender thing? We are blaming the woman in the life of uh, Sushant Singh Rajput, and the family is trying to uh, accuse her because they want the money. Is that what it is? I think uh, CBI probe uh, should be there in the case, and uh, I really feel uh, there is some foul play uh, in the whole scenario uh, because right from the first day, the case was uh, not straightforward. so i think uh, the center of attraction is riya so she should be uh, charged by cbi cbi inquiry should be there and uh, i also think at the same time there are other aspects of bollywood like connection with mafias and all should be sorted out and bollywood should be cleaned up or closed down we don't want to see uh, like all big big name khans and behind the doors they are doing something else so both things should be there this one uh this uh, sushant singh rajput case as well need to be sorted out as, as well as bollywood uh, needs to be cleaned up as well well thanks kunal for joining me on the news hour manik das uh, also calling in uh, good evening manik das what do you think has the mumbai police uh, really investigated fairly or should this uh, investigation be transferred to the cbi after the father has made these charges navika ji good evening good evening sir आ, मेरा सवाल ये है कि रिया चक्रवर्ती बुक हो गया लेकिन बड़ा मछली कब फंसेगा ओके बड़ा मछली कब फंसेगा वेल well, तो सीबीआई को प्रोब जाना चाहिए तभी फंसेगा कि मुंबई पुलिस फंसाएगी आप देखो इन्वेस्टिगेशन कैसे होगा हमको तो भरोसा लगता नहीं है All right thank you Manik Das for joining me let me let me get in uh, Harry uh, Harry I want to ask you this Harry is this a gender issue as put out by Sanjana is this about the family wanting to get their hands on the money rather than uh, getting uh, you know the father's uh, position and and the leaked video Thank you Navika first of all let me share with you uh, people first of all, starting with the that there is no nepotism or there is a gender issue um, or trying to soft paddle it i i have heard everybody and uh, speak like this and speak like that i have faced personally nepotism what has happened in my case is exactly in in different formulas that happens to others right from the first film i produced nanaksha fakir the film was stolen by bombay mafia and and it was and there was demand pay this because of an outsider or else this movie goes to 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 the to the crooks that happened then the movie when it was to go to oscars because it had won three national awards again somebody else from came from bombay said he i am an but harry sikka sushant singh rajput was a I'm, successful I'm star something very since he got his breaks yes, it's me. not like bollywood did not recognize him they gave him the breaks no moment you become successful it becomes even more cheesy like for example uh, i was pulled down when i wrote razi that this man, this man is growing up too fast or his stories are making lot of noise a lot of scenes who pulled me out by i have a proof and i have shown it to the shown it on television i'll send it to you show it to everybody it was mr gulzar who wanted to bring me down just because he wanted his daughter to come up so nepotism in every form is part and parcel of bollywood it is pushed sometimes to that level that possibly possibly shashank had to commit suicide or it was a planned murder 
did a threat happen to me i have a threat received on my twitter mail existing but perhaps those people who threatening me did not realize i'm a cargill returned soldier last but not the least is there a pakistani role in these things are there outside mafia in my case in calling samat which is razi there was a mafia that that outside hand the pakistani hand that changed the narrative of the story and showed uh, as a, as the protagonist as if she was she had done a biggest blunder in life in protecting or defending india or spying for india she was crying that clip that two and a half hours out of two and a half hours of movie three minute clip went to viral in pakistan and 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 and, and uh, uh, kashmir why why were there certain set of people trying to destroy a narrative because they control the whole the whole game ball game they control the entire system who are these people this must be investigated at the highest order so you're order. saying riya chakravarti should not police. be investigated the mafia should be investigated where where do you stand on uh, this uh, abha singh you know riya chakravarti is an angle that's come from the father is this a gender issue because the you know the girlfriend is being blamed because in the indian law what about the parents of an unmarried man does the live in relationship get recognized and therefore does riya have all the rights on his money and is this the bid by the father to get the money what is it that we are talking about you know why why is the mumbai police not questioning all of this why did this statement not get made to the mumbai police why is it being made to the bihar police where does this investigation go from here in fact now that bihar police has registered an fir of abetment to suicide at least this issue is laid to rest that this is a case of abetment to suicide and that is what is coming from the father lawyers like ishkaran bhandari on your channel i had said please don't change the narrative to murder what agenda he had is a question now needs to be investigated by mumbai police why vested interests have come and are asking for cbi inquiry when now the father says it's abetment to suicide also the very fact that mumbai police is calling 40 people to record their statements they could not have uh, abetted his uh, suicide because the only two calls which sushan made on the last night of his life was to riya chakravarti and to his friend so they always uh, it is very important to note and of course now when the father has found that 15 crores of sushan's money has been transferred to riya and this fact has come to his light uh, to his knowledge now he is very much in his right to re register an fir in bihar of course once the mumbai police registers a fir both of them at some stage would be clubbed that is what the law says so bihar police is very right in registering the fir and all those people who are trying to think that by changing the narrative to murder let them know that law does not work on emotion so are you saying It a cbi investigation is not required do you think the mumbai police has been doing its job anand ranganathan are you saying this case after the leaked videos and after the complaint of the father you know this case is what it appears over the last 43 days as investigated by the mumbai police Yes, uh, Navika. First of all, I'm surprised by Miss Singh leveling such allegations against Ishkaran Bhandari. He's not here to defend himself. I don't personally think that he's carrying any agenda. Everyone wants to know the truth about what happened in this case. And perhaps you would also like to reflect on the amazingly botched up. And I'm going to use this word as severely as it means. There is no doubt in my mind that the investigation that has been carried out should not have been carried out in the way that it has. That the whole judicial process. Perhaps you would like to say a couple of. In fact, in fact, now. I am not his spokesperson, but I think these are serious allegations you are making against him. He is a fellow lawyer. He is a lawyer like you are. Tries to change the narrative. Miss Saba Singh, Miss Saba Singh, Ishkaran Bhandari has reflected. He is a lawyer. he's well within his rights to question whether there should be a cbi probe or whether this was a suicide you know which appears like a suicide normally done by somebody who was mentally disturbed or were there other angles he he is talking about murder abetment he's talking about the fact that there should be a cbi investigation investigating the case after 30 days he comes and says it is the murder and i am going to ask the cbi if he is a lawyer does he not know that there is a procedure how a case is transferred to the cbi 
That and the procedure the and the procedure is more of a display of and who the Mumbai the police can Lamika, call. Is that what Lamika, this case is all about? The father, today the father talks about. Are you saying? Are you saying, Abha Singh? My question to you is one: Should Riya Chakrabarti be questioned or not? Should her role be of investigated course, or not? She should be questioned. She should be questioned because she was living with him and had just walked out five days before. Sushant tried to talk to her on the last day, and when so much money has gone from her, now we have the difference. Her, is, this is needs to be I'm looked sorry into. To say a veteran that, suicide is a fact which is now being investigated in the right manner. Doctor Anand Ranganathan. No, one second, Navika. Just one sentence. Yes, one second. You see, I am here. I am not believing anyone, and that includes the grieving Shushan's father. I am not saying that it might actually be a suicide or abetment to suicide or murder. And this is what Ishkaran was saying. So I don't think Miss Singh should suddenly start believing uh, Shushan's uh, grieving father. Fact is nobody knows because absolutely Tanishka so Tanishka Chatterjee it might be, murder, it might be Tanishka suicide. Chatterjee might be. every everybody everybody who's asking for a CBI probe has not come to a conclusion that this was a suicide or this was uh, an abetment to suicide or a murder. What they're saying is that facts don't appear to be what they've been taken uh, hook, line and sinker by the Mumbai police and therefore there should be an investigation whether the charges of the father are correct and the father has detailed these charges. He's talking about credit cards, phone numbers, SIM cards. He's also talking about the fact that medical reports were taken away by uh, Riya Chakrabarti. These are charges that he's making and these are easily verifiable. Do you think the Mumbai police, which has been investing, investigating this case for the last 43 days, has found answers to these questions or do you think an unbiased probe by the CBI is important because these are verifiable charges which so far do not seem to have been verified? I, I thought right from the beginning that a, that a, that a detailed investigation should be there and uh, at this point i think there's so many contradicting stories that keep coming all the time um i i would say that yeah cbi probe would only help so why not and uh, like you very correctly said none of us know anything we don't know uh, whether uh, you know an emotional father's outburst at this point of time you know obviously he has certain points the family would know the best right the police and the family and the circumstances they would know the best we don't know anything about the case and they would know more about that relationship also you know it's unfair on our part to judge anything at this point of time so i absolutely believe that there has to be a detailed investigation given the kind of mysterious circumstances under which this entire thing happened we all know that you know there has been a lot of debate about lots of things but no one can pinpoint anything specific which is and why cbi investigation ashish dikshit ashish dikshit i, I want to ask you in law in law the father is the closest relative that sushant singh rajput had or has the father has made certain charges in the complaint that he has filed with the Bihar police, which has been co now converted into an FIR. I want to ask you, Ashish Dikshit, when this complaint talks about the fact that money from Sushant's account has gone into accounts which are not connected with him, the fact mm -hmm. that he was taken away, his, you know, he was being mm -hmm. told and he, he confessed this to his family that, you know, he was being called delusional by Rhea Chakravarti and her family. They are part of uh, three companies that he had set up. There, uh, there is, uh, you know, credit cards, debit cards, which she was controlling, phone numbers, which she was controlling, access to the family, which she was controlling. These are serious charges. Now, nobody can take a position on them except an investigation. So, Ashish Dikshit, why should the investigation not take into account the charges made by the father? Uh, good evening, Navika. No one is doubting the allegations which the father has made. Father has full right to make any allegation which he feels that he has a reasonable cause to make that allegation. But what is the legal value of that allegation? The moot question is this. In my view, if you think that the second FIR which has been registered by his father is going to solve the case, unfortunately, no. 
it is rather going to complicate the case because as per criminal law the fir or the investigation is done where the crime is committed a person sitting in patna cannot file an fir for a crime which has been committed in mumbai this is not going to help his case and every single lawyer will come up to the the lawyer will come up to the court and will argue this point and the investigation will be stayed so rather than helping his own son's case i don't know for what reasons this fir has been filed he would have been better advised if that same fir or the same complaint was given to mumbai police for investigation so it is very difficult for patna police to investigate this it is only a fir which has been listed but nothing will happen practically you take it from me it is going to be another case like mr tharur 10 years down, down the line nothing will happen is yes, that a case it is a systematic is that attempt. a case uh, anand ranganathan for not wanting a cbi yes, investigation no I, i think now other police authorities have to get in i think we've seen uh, especially in light of the video that you have shown and the other lacuna that ishkaran bhandari actually uh, uh, you know uh, brought to light it is incumbent to have a absolutely a fair absolutely Ravika, and uh, and uh, uh, you know and and everybody you know Ravika. there 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 is you know nepotism in uh, bollywood but there is nepotism in the legal world there is nepotism in other fields of work there is nepotism in business in corporates you know you can go on on this forever and ever till the cows come home but ladies and gentlemen the fact that changes the discourse is the complaint of the father and this leaked video and it is based on this leaked video which puts the spotlight on the mumbai police and its investigation to answer questions that we leave you with this video because this makes the case so strong as people of india join collectively to demand a cbi investigation this video and ladies and gentlemen hear the words in the video does this look like a fair investigation to you and was it fair from day one when from the site of sushant singh rajput suicide this video was made isn't this video the game changing investigation crux leaving you with this video as i thank my panelists ye kahi nikhi hai hamara investigation ka baat hai